Today I'm gonna start a new playlist which will be related to the computer science and the first part will be dedicated to algorithms. The first algorithm I want to discuss is a bubble sorting algorithm. The main idea behind this algorithm is that we take elements by pairs and compare it to each other. If the left element is greater than the right element, we should swap them, otherwise just continue. For example, let's say that I have an unsorted array and I'd like to sort it using bubble sort algorithm. Let's try to use it. Firstly, let's check if our 8, our left element, is greater than 4, our right element. So 8 is greater than 4. Let's swap it. And now let's go to the next step. Let's compare 8 to 7. 8 is greater than 7. So let's swap them too. Then compare 8 to 1 and swap them again using the same logic. But now if we compare 8 and 9, we cannot swap them because 9 is greater than 8. And now let's proceed our logic with number 9. After the first full cycle, number 9 will be at the end of our array. And now I think it is very straightforward why this algorithm is named bubble sort. So our largest number is bubbling like a bubble in the water. When we finish the first cycle, we should start the new one, starting from the first element. And the same logic applies here. We compare 7 and 4. 7 is greater than 4, so no swap applies here. Then we compare 7 to 1, swap them, then compare 7 to 8, do not swap them, and keep continuing. After all these steps, in the end, we will have our sorted array. That's all according to the algorithm. So, let's try to implement it using the JavaScript code. First of all, let's create our function which will be named bubble sort and accepts our array. And now let's try to revise our algorithm. So first of all, we should iterate over every element of our array. Let's implement this. And in the very end, we should return this array which will be sorted. After that, we need one more loop inside of our first loop to compare our elements. I'll start with the second element of the array and iterate till the our input array length minus our current iteration step. Why? Because on the first loop, in the very end of the, our array, we will have the highest number. That's how bubble sort works. And then we do not need to take a look on this number, so we can avoid it. And now let's implement our main logic. We compare our current value to the previous value. If our current value is less than the previous value, we should swap them. To swap them, I will use the temporary variable. That's all. As you can see, after execution of this function, our array is sorted. But can you see the problem of this implementation now? The problem is, if our array is sorted, we will iterate it over and over again instead of just returning it. So, let's add one more flag, like sorted, and by default it will be true. And let's change it to the false only when we swap the values. And outside of our inner iterations, we will check if our array is still sorted. We can break our implementation and just return the sorted array. That's all about implementation for bubble sort algorithm. Thanks for watching.